The Camino de Santiago, also known as Camino Francis, has existed for over 1,000 years and is the most popular, well-marked walking route in the world. Walking the Camino is one of the most highly sought pilgrimages in the history of humanity. Today, nearly 350,000 trekkers from all over the world continue to complete the Camino each year. Camino Francis begins at saint jean de port France and travels approximately 800 kilometers through the four Spanish regions, Navarra, La Roya, Castilla y Leon and Galicia finishing at Santiago de Compostela, Spain. The route travels through mountainous landscapes across the royal and Spanish countryside and through the city areas, introducing pilgrims to the most beautiful scenery, historical cultural landmarks, churches, cathedrals, monasteries, and friendly towns along the way. Join Peter and Joseph as they embark on a 38-day inspirational journey and experience all that makes this Camino so special. Witness the challenges of walking this trail, the joyous moments of awe and wonder, creating new friendships and being part of the Camino family. This is our journey of walking the Camino de Compostela, the adventure of a lifetime. Buen Buen Camino! Camino! When I see all these serious walkers, I'm beginning to feel a little bit scared. But we have to um, officially check in, so we will have our passport stamped. And then we're going to also collect um, a shell. A shell is a symbol of the Camino. Okay, we've got our shells. And our Camino shell. And passports. With the Knights Templar cross on it. And we have passport. And now we're excited and we're ready to go. I don't know if excited, but we're ready to go. We are at St. James's Gate. This is the beginning of the Camino. 800 kilometers to San Diego de Compostela. And our journey begins from here. It's only an 8K walk for us. Let's get cracking, Peter. We are 1k into the walk and feeling like a mountain goat. This one is for Jane, our philosophy tutor. Jane, all is perfect. At this very point in time, even Joe is looking nearly perfect. <laughs> but then aren't you perfect as well, Peter? Perfect comes from perfect. <laughs> well, we have had a quite a steep climb coming up, having a little bit of break under a lovely elm tree, and we're going to talk to you about the metaphor of the shell. Okay, so yesterday I started a little story and just, you know, indicated that the Pope ran out of a few icons of the day to um, associate with the Camino, so selected a shell. Well, it actually has more meaning than that. Because as you can see, um, with the shell, it has many ribbed sections, and they all lead to a central point. That central point is Santiago, and it represents the multiple ways that one can actually take to arrive at our central point. I'm not too sure why the cross is upside down, but anyway, um, maybe the shelves should be that way. And all the pilgrims travelled to meet the tomb of St. James. That's where we're heading. So, you know, we'll just continue our Camino. Buon Camino. Buon Camino. We are at 
Orison. We've got 17.3 kilometers. We're going to Roches Valley, which means Valley of the Thorns. We've got a 1450 elevation meter rise to get to before we descend down to Roches Valley. We have arrived at the Virgin of Orison statue. Well, she's actually about two and a half kilometers outside of Orison, so she's actually a bit out of town. Oh well. The road's been pretty much bitumen, but the views crossing over the Pyrenees is absolutely spectacular. Yep. And we've got a perfect day for it. And I'm just loving seeing the cows and the sheep along the way. They're pretty free, aren't they? They are. But they do make a bit of noise because they have got bells on. Oh, I think that's soothing. Anyway, we... Um, I think it spoils the serenity. I think it adds to the serenity. I agree. Well, I'm officially between France and Spain. Still in France, now in Spain. Okay, we've enjoyed our little stay at Hotel Rochevales here in Rochevales, and um, we're sitting in front of the Inglesias little chapel which was built in the 14th century correct and today we've got 21.9 kilometers in front of us we're going to Zubri. Zubri. apparently the walk has a fair bit of forest so it'll be shady some valleys and a bit undulated so Let's see what the day brings on the walk. Eight o'clock in the morning, so we hope to make reasonable time. Yeah. Just almost starting to commence our walk and we've enjoyed our stay at Chancherena. Lovely accommodation. We have 21.9 kilometers to walk today and we are walking to Pamplona. We're in a piazza outside a bar, Bar de Plano, and we've just had a really delicious couple of little rolls with um, some Spanish ham and zucchini, which was absolutely delicious, and a beer. And on a hot, warm day after a long walk, it truly hits the spot. Dias. We're standing in front of the city hall here, which is a beautiful Baroque building. We are off to Puente La Riena and it's going to take us 23.8 kilometers. And our first stop is St. Andrea Church. The church was built in the 12th century and it is aging with a few cracks what to expect from an old church. No, I know. I'm really impressed though, Joe, because 
Back in Australia, I look at a crack and I think structural. In Europe, it's just aging. <laughs> We are here at Santa Maria in Nuarte. De Nuarte. This is a Romanesque style church. Built around 1110 and seems like it's got connections with the Knights Templars. Now if you read your Da Vinci Code, the Knights Templars were given a bit of a bad rap, but they were probably a little bit more liberal at that particular time and got embroiled with the bishops of the day and the Pope of the day that were sort of operating in a different political sphere. And they didn't like them, so they decided to kill them all. Why not? Buenos <laughs> dias. <laughs> Apologies to the Spanish for my poor language skills. Today we are heading off from Puente de Rianes to Estela. A 21.9k walk. It starts with a little bit of an incline to go to three mountain villages and then we'll do a descent to Estella. Who doesn't tell you that the, the Camino doesn't provide? <laughs> Coming to the town of Thiraki, that's how they pronounce it, the locals pronounce it. And Peter and I have just had our morning coffee and two bomboloni with crema. I only had one, Joe had the other one. <laughs> and they were very delicious. Anyway, we're gonna exit Thiraki and we're gonna travel along an old Roman road, one of the best preserved roads. Buenos dias. We have just checked out of our hotel, Hotel Chapitel, and we got 21.5 kilometers to get to Los Acros. So how about we get cracking, Peter? We have just arrived to the Puente del Irache. And is there vino on the Camino? Si. <coughs> Oh, well, I've had my taste. Oh, that's strong. Not oh. strong. Yes, it is. You get that alcohol taste at the back that's of your throat. Not strong. It's just. Santa Maria Los Arcos. Unfortunately, the doors are closed. But Buenos Dia, today we're going to be going to Viana, which is a 17.4k walk. We've got some steep hills to walk up, and there's something to do with the Knights Templar. Hmm. Buenos dias. We are at the door of the Saint Pedro Church, which is now in ruins, and we are off to Rogonio, which is only a 9.4k walk. The book we've been following, which I totally recommend, is the Camino Santiago, which has been very informative and has been giving us a lot of information. It's really much like a, a pilgrim's Bible. Anyway, let's get cracking, Peter, and see what else we can see along the way. Three. We're in Camino! <laughs> We're in Logroño, just on the outskirts of Logroño. And we are now in the Rojo region. So we've actually left the Navarra region behind us. And as I may have said earlier, the Rojo region is known for its 
spectacular wines. So we look forward to tasting some wines over the next few days. Drinking them in fact. And tonight we have the festival of Saint Matteo. In English, in English that would be Saint Matthew. So they're having a big festival here in Logrono over the next week, but we're here on the first day of the festival, so we look forward to exploring the town. Good morning, or should I say buenas dia. We survived a night of partying that was happening outside and it was still happening in the early hours of this morning. We've got a big day ahead of us. We're off to Nahera. We have 28.9 kilometers to walk today. Quite, probably the longest day out of all the ones we've done so far. So we're walking along on the Camino and who do we happen to run into? Giorgio! Giorgio! Ciao! Ciao a tutti! Milano! We've met a couple of Irish boys along the way and they noticed my bottle of wine. They said, for medicinal purposes. And I said, aye. And we got to this one and they said, maybe you should do a swap for a bigger bottle. What do you guys think? This or that? Yay! Wine on the Camino! <laughs> Hi! Okay, we have arrived at Nahara and we've picked up a couple of more pilgrims. We've got Philip from Alabama. We've got Flavio from Bergamo. Yeah, that's right. Peter from Q. Oh, we don't need to hear where you're from, Peter. We already know that. So we have arrived in Nahara and um, we're going to say goodbye to our other Pellegrinos as we go to our accommodations. Buon Camino, guys. Buon, Buon Camino. Camino. Buenos dias. We've just exited our accommodation, the Daki de Nahara, and now we have a 21k walk ahead of us. A lot easier than what yesterday's hike was, but we do have a hill to climb. Anyway, and we are off to Santo Domingo de la Cazada. I think I left Peter behind talking to his Irish friends. He's loving his Irish history. Okay, we've just ran into some more Pellegrinos here. We've got Lucky, Lucky. we've got Kyron. Kyron, and we've got Robert. Robert. And Peter. Ro Robert's from Philadelphia. We've got two boys from Australia, and of course, Peter from, from Adelaide. Ma from, no, 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 Peter's from Q, <laughs> and you're from Adelaide. We're from Adelaide. Yeah. Adelaide's the best place to live. All right, Adelaide. guys, and um, wishing you a buen camino on your journey. Buen, buen camino. camino. Buen camino. <laughs> Buenos dias. You get Peter to make the introduction today. We are in Santo Domingo. This is our uh, day that we head off, and we're going to Belogrado. Belogrado, slightly more elevated, um, and 22.4k in terms of walking. Oh, happy day! Someone's happy about the day. We're in Bioya. Beloria di Rioja. Hello. Bioya di Rioja. And this little town is synonymous with a famous saint, San Domingo. Correct. He was born here and baptized here. In fact, the baptismal font, dating back to his baptism in 1021, is still in this very Inglesias. He's associated with San Domingo de Cartilla, where he set up a pilgrim's place. It was a hospital, but before he actually set up the hospital, he actually went in to become a monk, but the monks didn't accept him because he wasn't smart enough. Either they thought themselves a bit superior, or anyway, he didn't qualify, so they kicked him out. So he set up the, the hospital 
which is the parador to help pilgrims on their journey. Buenos dias from Belorado. And this morning, we're off to San Juan de Ortega. We've got 24.2 kilometers to walk. We've got some shaded areas today, a little bit different from yesterday where it was pretty much open and walking along some roads. We've got a little bit more nature today. So we're actually on our 14th day walking the Camino and we're actually finding that it's very well signed. So not even Peter can get lost. <laughs> no, we don't want to get lost and following the shells he's um plenty of plenty of them around okay we've come into some other pellegrinos and they're from the uk from liverpool we've got fiona and martin, martin. martin. <laughs> and we'd like to wish them a bon camino Bon Camino. Bon Camino. <laughs> They're only going as far as Burgos this time around, but I hope they come back and complete it another time. We will. Thank you. Buenos dias. We've uh, enjoyed our little stay here at San Juan, San Juan de Ortega and today it's going to rain on our parade. They're expecting 70% rain, hence the raincoats and it looks like it's going to be quite cool. So we've got a 26.1 kilometer walk all the way to Burgos and I think we want to get cracking before it starts to rain heavily, or if it does. I'm here with Kelsey from the United <laughs> States. She's from Texas, and we're walking in the rain. And she's a fashionista. She's got a gorgeous raincoat on. <laughs> Trash Buen bags are life. <laughs> Buen Camino. Buen Camino. Buenos dias, Peter here. We are leaving Burgos today to go to Honillas. It's a 21k walk and it should be fairly straightforward, but it is very open. We've just entered the little monastery of Ermita Monasterio. And we've just had a lovely little blessing for our journey onto Santiago. Exactly. This How beautiful, beautiful is that? It was. Ready for my picture, Mr. Demille. Oh, just when the bells are ringing. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we'll just wait for that to stop. What a way to start the day. <laughs> How perfect. We've really enjoyed our evening at our accommodation last night. We met this wonderful lady, her name is Jean, she's from New Mexico. So we had some company, otherwise it would have been just Lonesome Peter and I. We thought we were the only ones in the house. Today we have 21.1 kilometers. We're off to where we will be crossing another part of the Meseta. So it's going to be quite a flat surface we don't have any towns until we get halfway and hopefully we'll be able to stop and have a coffee somewhere Jojo's looking for a quote of the day well my quote is apart from cold hands 
I am feeling okay. Well, it is a bit chilly this morning, so let's hope it warms up. Yep. Yep. Pull away. Well, walking along the Masetta, we are receiving beautiful views. People say that much of it be can be in the background, of course. But <laughs> people say most of it can be boring, but there's nothing boring about this walk so far. And if you want to talk about boring, probably mostly along roadsides. We've just stopped at a cafe in Hontana and we're with Marcus from Switzerland and we keep bumping into him along our journey and we're so glad we ran into him today because he's been with us Since from the beginning. Day one. Correct. So we hope to be bumping into him many more times during the journey. I hope so too. That's two so lovely, sweet men. I like them very, very much. The most beautiful couple on the way, I'm telling you. <laughs> Wasn't there not to like, Marcus? And you're just as lovely as well. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, what is, what is Peter's going to come in? Mutual here? Admiration Society. <laughs> Buen Camino. Buen Camino. Buenos dias. Peter here, but you already know that. Today we are leaving Castro Giretz and we're off to Bordilla, not to be confused with Bordello. <laughs> so, we have got just under 20 kilometers and we're pretty equipped for it. Buenos dias. We've just checked out of our accommodation. Smaller room than usual, but clean, tidy, and, and comfortable. Now, last night we had the best experience. Our first pilgrim's meal. 79 people all together. You should have seen the joy and the laughter. It was an amazing experience. The food was okay, it wasn't too bad. And this morning, we're now off to Carrion de los Condos. So we've got a 25.1 kilometer walk to do. So it's the crack of dawn and we're about to head off. Well, good morning. We're on our way to Formista this morning. We actually left Bodilla in darkness and it was so lovely to see the daylight and the dawn. And the path is fairly straightforward, so we're just enjoying our little walk to Formista. Okay. So we've just come up to another proverb for the day. And it says, when secrets wilt, intimacy prevails. So have a think about that one for today's thoughts. We are in Rivenga. Cinzia says it's boring. Ci siamo fermati per un spuntino. Cosa abbiamo mangiato? It was a little bit to eat. So we're saving ourselves for the next town to have something bigger. So we had a bo boccacillo. Boccadillo. Boccadillo. <laughs> un boccadillo e tè di menta. Allora, Cinzia, di dove vieni? Italia. Di dove? Bologna. Vicino? Vicino Bologna. Bologna. 
vicino a Bologna. Non c'è mai stato in Bologna. Ah, vicino a Firenze. Ah, oh, vicino a Firenze, ecco. Allora, this is Cinzia's last day before she goes home. Oh, is it really? Oh, yes. so, so it was lovely to meet you along the way and it was lovely to have dinner with you and we wish you well on future Caminos. For me it's the same. Thank you. Prego, prego. We're at Villalcazar, the town of Villalcazar. And behind us is Santa Maria de Blanco. And it's notable because of its connection to the... Knights Templars. Yes, and apparently lots of nobles are buried in this church. Buenos dias. We have just exit from our accommodation which was lovely we had a lovely dinner last night and we caught up with Jean once again and now we have a 28.8 kilometer walk and I believe that it's on the flat and the first 17 kilometers there is no cafes along the way so we're gonna have to get cracking in order if we need to get coffee okay we're Walking this morning, and look who we found. Do you remember this person? We <laughs> it's Joe. Joe. Like, <laughs> what on the second day? Yes. 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 And then we sort of lost Joe along the way, and now we found her. <laughs> and I'm so happy. I love walking with these guys. <laughs> We're a bit slower than Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Anyway, let's keep walking. Buen camino. Buen camino. On camera, Joe Joe. Buenos dias. That's what Jojo does, so I thought I'd just imitate him just to make sure that we keep our consistency. Last night we stayed at La Morena in Lerigos. I think I'm doing pretty well just to get to that. But today, we've got a big one ahead of us today. It is about uh, 28 and a half kilometers, and we're going to La Calzadilla de los Herminilos. Wow, I'll have to go back home and learn Spanish. Yesterday, it was like a sea of heads as we were walking along the Camino track. And today, it's just Jojo and Peter. <laughs> We've just come across a quote. I know that I know nothing. And that was a quote by Socrates. But the owners of a bar in town have taken a little bit further. But the second bar is cool. Okay, so I've got to walk past the first one to get to the second bar. Hopefully they'll have more pearls of wisdom there. <laughs> Buenos dias, we've enjoyed our stay at Casa El Cura and now we have 24.4 kilometers to our next destination which is, we're going to Mansila de los Mulos. Mulo. You're on camera, Sheldon. <laughs> and Peter. Now, look what Peter and I found. Real pine cones, massive ones. Aren't they gorgeous? I come across Peter under a shaded tree. And I say to him, okay, what about my break? He says, oh, you've had your wee break, come on. Oh, that's a little unfair. Who would ever think that we would be walking along an old Roman road, very deteriorated and long. Well, I wish that bloody will repair it. <laughs> it's as old as the Romans are. Anyway, we've got a couple of kilometers to go before we hit a town. And man, are we hungry. And a cerveza looks pretty good from here.
Buenos dias. We have enjoyed our stay at the Albergarina del Camino here in Mansilla. And now we are off to Leon. So we've got an 18.1 kilometer walk. I've got my mangy pe peaches in my pack for us to have as a snack. We've got some lovely little old towns to walk through today before we get to Leon. Leopolda on the Camino. Exactly. And she's going all the way to Santiago? Yeah, come from Barcelona to Santiago, so a thousand hundred kilometers more or less. And your name is? My name is Boris Zapata and I'm doing that for um, with uh, El Pavo del Pollo, Instagram account. El Pavo <laughs> del Pollo. And it's for, you know, in Spain we say don't be a chicken, you have to be brave. So I'm not, I don't want to be a chicken, I, I want to do the Camino de Santiago and I, I will be brave with my fear. So, well, bon Camino. Gracias. Thank you. Bravo. We've stepped into a little cafe. What did you call it, Peter? I called it Matasiete. And we are having a cerveza. A cerveza. We're going to have some chicken salads and overlook this beautiful little piazza and then we'll um, make our way towards our accommodation. Is it Piazza Santa Maria? I don't know which There's Piazza. a few of them anyway. <laughs> Buenos dias from Lyon. Today we've got a 21.9k walk all the way to Villa de Mazarib. Johas de Abadias. Buen camino. <laughs> well, you might want to call it a countdown. 301 kilometers left to do. <laughs> Yay! Yay! We have just stopped at the little town of Villa Mazarib for something to eat and we are on our way to Villa Vante. We've decided to push ahead the extra 10k so that we don't have to do them tomorrow, which will shorten our trip for the next day. So from here, we'll, we'll move on. So it sort of means 30 something kilometers today. Ooh. But anyway, we'll do it. Mm -hmm. Buenos dias. We've enjoyed our little stay at this lovely rural house. And now we've got a 21k walk to Astorga and we're staying at Casa Real Tepa which is where Napoleon Bonaparte had actually stayed once so I'm looking forward to checking this place out Okay, I'm going to introduce Darko from Zadar in Croatia. So, uh, Sandra Lodanik Arte or Lodanic, uh, this is your paisan, no? And I introduce you. Nice to meet you, my nice friend. To meet nice you. to meet you. Would you like to say something to Sandra? <laughs> I'm going to send uh, very, very kind regards from here, from Santiago. And when I come home, I will remember that we have a Croatian guy in Australia that I met here on, on Camino, together with my, my, <laughs> my, with my, 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 Buen Camino. Buen Camino, guys. Buen Camino. jeez. Oh, Hope to see you again. Yeah, okay, bye. Ciao. Bye. Okay. All right. This is Annika from the Netherlands. And we met Annika on day one of the Camino, which was in St. John-Pierre-de-Port. 
Annika has been walking from Bars, uh, Bayen, 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 Bayen. Yeah. Bayen. Bayen. Yes, yes. And and along the way, we sort of bump into her from time to time. So here we are today. Yes, exactly. Buen, buen camino. Buen Gracias. camino. Buen camino to you as well. Thank you. I've enjoyed very much meeting you and talking. It's very much the same. Thank you. Just stopped into a pastry shop and we have got little cakes, San Diego cake, which is made from almond milk. Can't wait to get my teeth into that. Buenos dias. We're checking out of our accommodation here in Astorga. We've had a lovely stay here at the Casa de Tepe and now we are off to Rabanal which is 20.6 k's to get there. Well, here we are having a very quiet uh, cabaleche and a tortilla, and uh, and Richard comes along and uh, and ingratiates himself. So I'm going to I'm going to hand you over to Richard. Richard's an Irishman, and Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, so tell us something about yourself. Well, first of all, my name's uh, Richard Bannon, and uh, uh, Peter, you're right. Uh, I am an Irishman, born and reared in a little place called Wexford, which is south, south, south Ireland. The next stop is the sea. That's how south it is. And um, going back 41 years ago, I used to drink quite heavily in them days. And that's enough, Richard. Okay, you only, all get, right. a, you only get a cameo appearance. Oh, all right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, you don't want to well, We, look, don't, we look. don't want the live history. Oh, all right. Well, listen. Uh, sorry about that there. So I, I, anyway, Irish man living in London 41 years, and I'm just a normal guy. You are. And that's it. And, and Peter uh, and Jojo, thank you, thank you for asking, interviewing me and asking me to be part of your little thing you're putting together on YouTube or whatever. And Richard <coughs> retired only recently and actually 10 days after retirement said, I'm going to walk the Camino. Didn't you do that, Richard? From nowhere, lying in bed, looking at the ceiling. Que miracle. One more word, one more question. Yeah, go on, Jojo. Are you going all the way to Santiago? Am I going? Well, that's my plan, unless a tree uh, falls on me or a bus runs me over. Or a thunderbolt I, of lightning. Uh, well, 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 up on that. Well, Richard, we wish you well and a buon camino. Bon Camino to you, Jojo, bon and you, Camino. Peter, and thank you. Hi, I'm here with Ashley and Jason and Bella Bellamy. And Bellamy. Yesterday, Beautiful we were friend. talking about a couple Bellamy. with a baby, and here they are. They're presto. Now, now, this couple have a great YouTube channel to help other couples with children along the way. Can you tell us a little bit about your channel? Yeah, you can follow us at Here Chasing come, come Weather come. and Wi-Fi. Yeah. Chasing Weather and Wi-Fi. Is someone sitting in yeah, this chair? Yeah, we're just basically sitting going in that, around, there's no one sitting in that figuring out how to do this with a two-year-old. Uh, with Bellamy. With other people. <laughs> we're doing all the... There wasn't just a, there wasn't a lot of information on how to do this, so, so we're we've learning. Done all the wrong things, and we're correcting it along the way, so you know exactly what not to do with a child on the Camino. So if you need hints, jump on their channel. I'm sure they can help you in some way or another. So without further ado, guys, Buen Camino. Buen Camino. Now we've come across a dice, and we're going to roll the dice. Roll. Roll it. Roll it. <laughs> That's and the numbers are four. Oh, <laughs> yay. Four. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. There we go. Yay. Cuatro. Cuatro. Hello, Peter here, and we are in Catalina de Somoza, or Somoza, or Somoza, whichever way you wish to pronounce it. I'm here with my in laws. I'm here with Catalina, Cather Caterina, <laughs> and Basilio Abbas, for short. Sure. Oh, sorry, and they're going to say a few words. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, so here we are. Uh, we're, what, three days in um, from Lyon, and we're Bichiginos and enjoying our time here. We've joined um, our in-laws, and, uh, and we're just going to have a great time so far. I mean, the, the weather's perfect. 
the people are very nice and um, we're just having a great time, yeah. And you're on your way to? Santiago, Santiago de Compostela. Compostela. Buen Camino. No, Buen Camino. no, I've got something to add. I've got something to add. Did you call yourself Pichigrinos? Pichigrinos. Are they peregrinos having a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Buenos dias. We're leaving our accommodation this morning. We're going to be heading to Molinesca. We've got a 25.6k walk, but a harder on the way is the Ferro Cross. We... we have arrived at the Croce di Ferro. As Joe mentioned earlier, this is where you lay a token or a memory. You either lay your burdens at the cross or you lay a memory of someone or some people special in your life. I'm gifted to have been blessed by many special people in my life. And I'm holding here a stone heart. Now, I believe my sister Marie gave me this stone heart. She remembers giving it to me. But I also remember it came from my mother's house. So therefore I must have given it to my mum. Um, but this token, is a memory to my mum and my dad and I'm going to leave it here and I'll always carry them in my heart. We have just stopped at La Casa de la Agua for lunch with Joe and Julie. We also ran into Jean and Richard. We have enjoyed some ham, tomato and cheese crepes. They're probably the best crepes I have tasted. They were made by Susan and David, who are the hosts here. Great place to stop for refreshments before moving on. Yep. We're in Molina Secca. I'd like to show you something a little bit different. These trees, they're plain trees, but they entwine with each other, but they're actually grafted together, and I believe they're called a wedding tree. So something a little bit unusual. I've actually indicated earlier, I think the Spanish actually over prune their trees a little bit. And this one here behind me, or in front of me, sorry, um, the leaves haven't even fallen, and they're actually pruning them. Give the trees a chance, please. Buenos dias. We're about to leave our lovely little accommodation here with this lovely old medieval Roman bridge behind us. But we're off to Cathabelos today, so we've got 22 kilometers to walk. We have arrived at Pont Ferrada. I'm standing in front of what would be the largest wisteria that I have ever discovered. So take a look at this. Pretty spectacular. We've got one at home that I was a bit worried about. But um, yeah, it pales into insignificance compared to here. Okay, so when we arrived here, we couldn't resist a little dolce. I don't Dolce here, of course, but uh, we had a Dolce and uh, Cafe Leche. And then we came up uh, to the church and we attended. We got the second part of the Mass and a blessing, so that was a lovely experience. Unfortunately, we couldn't get the tour of the castle because time is not on our side today. But this place has got a UNESCO site um, in the form of the castle and it is famous because it's associated with the Knights Templars. Okay, but without further ado, we have to get back on the road. Buenos dias, Peter here. Wow, we've passed the two thirds mark in our walk. We're currently at Cacabello and we're heading on to Villa Franca. It's probably one of our shortest days. We've got about 8.3 kilometers. 
We've just dropped into a pasticceria, although they pronounce it a little bit differently, but same thing. Anyway, I've got a bombolona, and we've got some cornetos with cream custard, mm -hmm. and I'm also trying the mandarin gelato, which is absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. But, um, and we're here with Kathy and Bass. Oh my God, I don't believe it. Oh, oh my God, we don't believe it. I the Irishman's hello, here. Hello, Richard. And the Irishman's here. Richard. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Sorry for the intrusion. <laughs> I can see it in your face. Hey, Joseph, where'd you get the ice cream? Just, Just there. say yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. yeah. Say no more. <laughs> Buenos dias. We are leaving Villa Franca today and we've got a 21k walk ahead of us and we're going to finish up at Harriers. On this walk this morning, we've come across many chestnut trees. Now have a look at this. The only problem is we don't have a fire to roast them or an oven to roast them. What a shame, they'll just have to go to waste. Ah oh well. We're off to Osobredia. We've got a 10k walk in front of us and it's steep. Morning, Peter here. Today we're heading off to Tre Castella. It is a 19.2 kilometer walk and we're starting out from Occerario. Now, behind me, we have a classic medieval hut. It's a stone wall, but it's actually got a straw roof. So it's pretty novel, um, a little bit recreated, but it gives us a little bit of a feel of a medieval village. Cerveza. Buenos dias. We're off to Saria this morning and we've got an 18.7k walk. It's a bit crisp this morning so we need to get moving. Diaz. We're standing here in front of the monastery of Magdalena, but we're about to commence our day of 22.7 kilometers and we're off to Porta Marin. So Peter, what do we have to do from Saria every day? Walk. <laughs> yeah, walk. And what do we have to get? 
our passport have to be twice a day. Correct. Hey guys, we have hit a milestone event. We are over 700 kilometers down with 100 to go. It's not about the kilometers traveled, it's about the journey and the experience along the way. But having said that, it is a marker and, uh, and we're celebrating that particular marker. We finally made it to Puerto Marin and we checked into our lovely accommodation, showered and changed and as you can see, we're in some fresh clothes. So we've come up the street and we've had some lunch and we visited the church across the road. This particular church was relocated in 1963. In fact, in 1963, they, they decided that they would move the town a couple of hundred meters up the hill because they wanted to flood the river and create a dam. So they moved a 12th century church together with, with a few civic buildings of the time. When is Diaz? We are off to Palace de Rey today and it's quite early this morning so we're going to be walking in a little bit of darkness. We have 22 kilometers to do today. <laughs> I thought I may have been getting a little homesick. In the yonder, behind me, we have eucalypt trees. Hey, even in Spain, they're growing eucalypts and I'm sure they're doing it for their carbon credits. How good is that? We're re-greening the planet with eucalypts. And now I find myself a little chook. Isn't she beautiful? Hello. Hello, chook. Aren't you beautiful? Hello. So we're walking along and the Camina provides us with um, some free sandwiches and some free biscuits. Pane e prosciutto. Biscuits. I think it's salami, oh, Peter. Salami, I know. <laughs> okay, right. And the view in front of us is gorgeous because there's lots of hydrangeas on this sort of fence line. Just a hedge of hydrangeas. Yeah, beautiful. Good morning. Buenos dias. We're on our way to Athutha this morning and we started off in pretty much pitch dark. So we sort of got lost too. And I said to Pete, well, let this be a lesson learnt because it's best to start walking in daylight. Anyway, we've got 23.5 kilometers to Athutha. Gonna have to go home to get in touch with gum leaves and trees and eucalypts because this makes you feel like you're at home. Buenos dias. We are on our second last day towards Santiago. We have a 21k walk and we're off to Podruso. I think that's how you pronounce it. Santiago 33. Ano Cristo. 33 kilometers to Santiago. We're nearly there. Yeah. Yeah. Buenos dia. Good morning. It's our last day on the Camino and we're off to Santiago. We've got about, about 20 k's to walk today and um, 
yeah. we've walked 20 k's quite frequently so I don't know if it's necessarily the kilometers that are the challenge but it marks the end of our 800 kilometer walk and so there's um, there's a sense of uh, sadness there's a sense of joy there's a sense of extreme gratitude Okay, we have 10 kilometers to go. Nice round figure. We started out at St. John Pierre de Port and we're going to hit Santiago probably within the next two hours. A bit emotional. A bit emotional. Emotional. No, yeah. We made it. Over 800 k's. 800 k's to get to this place right here. Yeah, just. I know. It's brilliant. This has been here a lot longer than all of us. Oh, you too. Yeah, here we are. Well, we have finally arrived in Santiago, as you have seen the footage, and we finally got our certificates of completion. <laughs> These ones are not in Latin, they're in Spanish, but they show you the kilometers that we've achieved. Um, 800 kilometers. I'm glad it's in print. Our gorgeous suite here at the Parador is lovely and, and we look forward to enjoying our two nights here before we go home. In the meantime, we'll also enjoy some time in Santiago, checking out some of the sites over the coming day. So with all that, I hope you've enjoyed coming along with us on this epic adventure a spiritual adventure, an adventure of reflection, and um, in the meantime, I'm going to pamper my feet. Yes, these weary bodies have had a long journey. I'm trying to tell them that we may be doing another one in the coming future. Oh, there's a sequel. <laughs> the Portuguese way. Stay tuned. No.